I started this channel late last year. I simply thought it would be fun to share my Zelda videos and some gameplay that I was doing. I thought that would be fun to do. But there's a reason behind that. I worked in the TV and film industry for well over a decade until health problems kind of took over my life. Fast forward to about a year and a half before I started this channel late last year. And I had the equipment in place. I had this room already built. This room has been happening organically over time. I just have all the stuff that I love in here. If you look around, these are like the things that I like. These are the things that inspire me, the things with which I have a ton of fun. That's what this room is. My wife, and I'm so thankful that she said this, she wanted me to have a space of my own. So that's what this is. This is a space of my own. So again, a year and a half, right? Before I started the channel, I had everything in place. There was one thing missing. Me. I was very apprehensive to do this, to talk to you, talk to you, for me to speak in front of a camera. I've always been the guy behind the camera, shooting video, sh uh, shooting stills. I'm an editor. I've directed, I've written, I've done all, everything across the board with regard to television production. I've even advised movie studios in Hollywood with regard to their production, major studios across the U.S., coast to coast, in many, many different states. I've been there. I've been advising, selling different products. That was my job. I represented high-end video editing, video storage, video creation, uh, graphics, visual effects, all those kinds of things with which you make television and film. That is and was my specialty. I'm very highly trained in this field. I not only went to school for this, I got a job straight out of school because I was already an avid editor professionally while I was still in college. And avid is my thing. That's my avid system right back there, those dual black monitors you see. This silver box right here is the workstation with which I edit my, you know, that's what I'm avid. I have a different workstation that I record right now and talk to you. So, and I've been to Tewksbury, Massachusetts, the home and birthplace of Avid. I'm an Avid editor. I'm an Avid instructor. I'm an Avid certified for their shared storage network, which is called Unity. This is all before phones took over. This is before, you know, there's now AI editing and you, you can simply shoot stuff and just have some kind of bot put it together for you. You know, I'm <laughs> the thousands and thousands of dollars that have been put into my education, my training and my certification in this specialty of this type of thing, which is, you know, video creation. It's funny now to think that some simple little program can just do it for you. It's weird. I'm very happy and thankful for some of this technology. I've also been using Photoshop, you know, the real, the beast running on Windows. I've been using Photoshop since college, so we're talking well over 20 years. Uh, so I'm also a Photoshop guy. I'm an avid guy and I can shoot. So the point is I have this immensely huge background of television production certification and advising movie studios across the U.S. and, and Canada. Been up to Canada many times. So with all this knowledge, I'm, I thought I, I could make some videos. I should start a YouTube channel. However, the missing link was being able to do this and to talk to you. And get over, I guess, for lack of a better word, get over that fear. I was apprehensive. I was a little fearful, I'm ashamed to say, to do this and to be able to talk to a camera. There's no one else in this room. There never is. I don't read from notes. Uh, let me rephrase. I do some, a lot of times have notes in front of me. I glance at them, but I never read from a script. I can't. 
I can't be slave to that. I, I just want to speak from the heart, which is what I'm doing right now. And speaking from the heart, since I started this channel, I want to thank all of you subscribers out there and those who are just now joining me. I want to thank you. If I could give away cash and prizes, I would. I'm not Oprah. You get a car, you get a car, you get a car, you... That's not me. And even if I had the money to do so, I wouldn't be so blatantly... I wouldn't want to buy your vote. No. Those of you who have been with me from the beginning have joined along the way, and many of you who have joined recently who are subscribed, and if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. There, I had to say it. I thank you. I like to think, and I know, because I've talked to so many of you through the comment section, through email and other avenues, that you're here because you also enjoy the things that I, that I love to do. Zelda and Rush and Dream Theater and TV and movies and some of the reviews I've done with those. Most recently, cooking. I never planned on this. A little background on the cooking. I spent all of 2019 watching thousands of hours. Thousands. I mean, that's a, that's a guess, right? But it was a lot. I'd watch Food Network constantly. I've learned so much from Alton Brown and his Good Eat show. It is easily the best cooking show ever made. Hands down. The creativity and, and just the way he puts the show together, but also his ability to teach you about all the culinary arts, but with the science behind it, but done in a fun, creative way. Brilliant. Brilliant. So, I just, I love Alton Brown's work. He is a big inspiration. I also, I enjoy Bobby Flay, and I watch his shows. Uh, there are many others. And I've learned so much from these people. So I spent all of 2019 watching this. And then I would get up and I would go make the dish I just saw. And then I, I taught myself by watching, learning, reading online constantly. I taught myself how to bake. Meaning I can, I can make bread from a sourdough starter. I can make pizza dough. Uh, and all those things, but also from sauces to different marinades to savory dishes. And really, that is my jam. I love savory dishes. I don't do the, the baking. Baking is really science. I love science. Love it. My wife teaches it. My uncle teaches it. My best friend in the world is a college professor, runs a physics department. I love science. However, I don't like the systematic on the rails of baking. I don't don't care for it. Just don't, just don't. Savory cooking, however. That's like jazz. There's some improv in there. There's a little bit of, of splash space with which you can be creative and you can taste and you can adjust on the fly as you go. That is what I love to do. Love that. After I learned all of that, it's like I checked that box. Done. I kind of got my home chef degree, if you will. And there goes my little link figure. But with this little home degree of mine, I sort of, I was done. I was kind of like, eh, did it. I've climbed that mountain. I reached the summit. I planted my flag. Great. You're now a good cook. Also, I've worked in the food industry and around food in the culinary space since I was 10 to 12 years old. My very first job was picking vegetables for a farmer in rural Vermont. I would ride my bike a couple miles to get to where he had his patch and corn and then he was, you know, uh, beds of you know, a garden, a big garden with corn. So, you know, he's doing small scale farming and then he would sell that at a roadside stand. He paid me to pick the vegetables for him I literally filling up baskets of tomatoes and of cucumbers and of squash and, and then yeah, picking ears of corn. And I love corn. <laughs> and this is what's great. I love corn raw. I'll, I literally walk through the, the you know, again, I'm, I'm 10, 12 years old. And, and, and he, I'm being paid for this time. But I would grab an ear and I'd just start eating it raw. Oh, oh 
Love raw corn. Love it cooked too. So that was my first job. Then my second job, where I actually got a real paycheck and I had to clock in, unlike the cash system of the farmer, was working in a bakery. And at the bakery, I washed, it felt like hundreds of pans, giant mixing bowls, all right? You may have seen them before, right? These industrial size mixers that you make all your bread doughs and you make your doughs for, for donuts and all these kinds of things and, and, and cakes and whatever. I would have to wash all that. So after school, again, I would ride my bike half mile to a mile down to the bakery and I'd wash dishes until like sunset for you know, a few hours. The second job. And then I worked at a grocery store, and then I got into restaurant work. And I've worked at, I, I can't name all the restaurants I've worked at through the years. I literally can't. It's my fallback job. I'm very good at being a server, being a waiter. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm very good at it. It's insane, and you have to be insane to work in that environment. It fits me to a T. We all are a little bit nuts, just to put up with, you hit the door and you're running and you're running and you're running. And the next thing you know, you're like, oh, we're almost closing. It's like 10 o'clock and I've been there for five to six hours. It's ridiculous. It's insane. Restaurant work, doing that. I mean, any part of restaurant work is insanity, but it pays well. That's always good. But also, I love it. And then and I, I work there now. I now work at a steakhouse, by the way. And actually, to pay for the house I'm sitting in, I went to work at another steakhouse. So I'd work all day long, and then I'd work several more hours at night because they had a construction loan to build this very house. That's like a lot of years ago. I'm not even sure. But I did it. I worked two jobs so I can get this home for me and my family. So it's always been there for me. It's always been my love. I'd love to own a restaurant someday. So with all that being said, my home training... The fact that I've always worked in food and the fact that someday I'd love to own my own restaurant and I have the skill set. It seemed like a natural evolution recently when I made a simple how to cook a lobster video, followed by its sequel, How to Make Lobster Rolls. And it's going to be a trilogy. I've already started shooting it. So this will be a lobster trilogy. But then you guys started raising your hand going, hey, I like this. And I was surprised that there was a lot of views of my cooking videos on YouTube, but also on Instagram and on Facebook, that people have shown interest in what I'm creating, these cooking videos. And I've never made one before in my life. Again, I love the format. I love the format of a cooking show, being able to teach, work in food, work in media creation and video. You don't get a more perfect fit of like uh, several of the things that I love in one tight little package. So I'm doing that now. Didn't plan on it. And if you look around my channel, a lot of it, you're like, is this guy plan on anything? Kind of schizophrenic, a little bit manic. What's going on? That's why I'm sitting here now. To kind of give you a bird's eye view, a macro view of what I'd like to do. If you're here for Zelda, thank you. If you're here because you've seen a Rush video, thank you. Dream Theater, thank you. And, and of course, my walkthroughs of Zelda, thank you for being here. If you enjoyed my reviews of movies and television, just recently I, I had a big video about One Piece. One Piece is a brilliant show. I wanted to talk about it. That's going to be here too. And now I'm going to do some cooking. So it does seem like, hey... This channel is me. Let's just say it like that. These are the things that I love. These are the things I get jazzed about. These are the things that inspire me. These are the things that make me want to keep going. Man, there's a lot of days I don't want to keep going. I don't want to. I do. My best. It's hard. <laughs> Isn't it? But what inspires me the things that I love and like, those keep me going. Those make me happy. I have a joy that's deeper than anything that earth can give us. Yes, I'm a Christian. Proud to talk about it. I do talk about it on another channel called The Watch with Eric Gardner. There's a link in my, on my channel page. 
But it is part of me. Huge part. The core part. And I'm happy to talk about that with anyone, anytime. But I've made a dedicated decision to not go into biblical things, things of Christianity, faith, and the things that I believe, the things that I hold dear, that, that get me out of bed in the morning, that give me comfort as I close my eyes at night, and let me go, and all through the hours in between, dealing with the struggles and the slings and arrows that we get in this life, it is my faith and my belief that, uh, that, that, that gets me through it. But this channel is not about that specifically. And that's a decision that I've made. So the Loud Boy channel, what is it? Well, right off the bat, what we're going to do is the same that I've been doing. What I may do, and tonight my manager at work, again, I work at a steakhouse, right? He suggested that, he suggested like having a Monday or a Tuesday or what, meaning sort of a, a day of the week or a dedicated slot into which I can plug a new Zelda video, a new cooking video, a new video about music, a rush, and that kind of thing. So I'm going to try to be more specific with how I, quote, program this channel. And I have started doing that. If you look at the last several videos that I've uploaded, they have kind of gone from subject to subject. That's my attempt to keep the momentum with each thing and not go long spans with just one thing. So I'm going to try it. I mean, I'm making this up as I go. I'm loving it. Getting to use the skill sets that I've been blessed with is amazing. But getting to meet you guys, from my oldest subscribers, for instance, Liam, thank you, buddy, Aaron, Randy, Marcus. Those are just some names off the top of my head. You guys have been with me from the beginning. There are many new subscribers that are joining now just because of my cooking videos. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't plan on making these, but I'm really enjoying the format. And like I said, part three of our lobster is coming soon. After that, I'm going to be making amazing steak soup. Oh, wait till you guys see this. This steak soup came from a, a steak restaurant called Plaza 3. So it's literally called Plaza 3 Steak Soup. It's been in our family. And if, and if I'm wrong, mom, you can correct me. My mom got the recipe somehow. And it's from this steakhouse, which I'm not even sure if it's around anymore. For a steak soup. And it is amazing. Oh, so I want to cook that for you guys. I want you to see, and I'll give you the recipe for a Plaza 3 steak soup. At this point, it's, a, it's our own old family recipe. And in the same light, I, I have recipe for marinara. I've been making salsa for 25 years. I make an insanely good guacamole. And those are just a few I'm just throwing out there at the top of my head that I want to do. Oh, I'm going to make some barbecue ribs. Man, the ones I made on Labor Day were nuts ridiculous and i want to i want to see i want you to know this a i believe that we should all constantly strive for excellence we may not achieve it every time but if we're reaching for it we're doing something right secondly with every avid project i do every photoshop project i do you know from a to b over the course of a month for example we now with cooking recipes from A to B, if I try this recipe now and I try it later, with each time I do it, I try to do it a little bit better. Each time, better. Challenge myself, make it better. More complicated, more in-depth. That's what I want to do with everything. It's, it's just how I push myself. I'm constantly striving for excellence. Something I learned from Rush Limbaugh. God rest that guy. My recipes will get better. I try to make my videos a little bit better each time. I try to speak more eloquently, or maybe just more real, with you guys on camera, talking right now, chatting with you. I try to make it a little bit better each time. Again, I try. You know, and uh, and then I, I you know, when I, after I edit it, if it seems like it's you know good, at least to a certain bar of quality, then I then I become proud of it, and I know. But I know next time I'm going to do even better. That's what keeps me motivated. 
It's why I keep going. It's why I get out of bed each day. The challenges before me that I set for myself to do bigger, better, more imaginative, more complex. You got me. I could go on and on. As you know, <laughs> my friends in my family, the ones actually in my, my physical orbit, right? My friends at work. Oh, they're way too kind. They let slip through sometimes, like, here goes Eric again. He, he's still talking? Fell asleep an hour ago. There's a reason why I'm called Loud Boy. Had that nickname since high school. Only nickname I've ever had. Because, A, I will say the most inappropriate things at the wrong time when everyone else is quiet. Hence, I'm loud. But also, loud in that... Um, I'll just keep going, keep talking. There's a lot going on up here, as we should all have. It's not just me. I have a, a million different things racing through my head all the time. And, you know, from the things I want to do to the, th the ideas that I hear something on, on, on the news, or I hear something from my friend, or my wife tells me something, or she it's something about her day. And you see, I go on and on. But all those things trigger. Uh, different tangents and side thoughts. I can't help it. I can't help it. Because I have, I, I guess, I have a very curious mind. I'm very, I, I'm, I don't make excuses, though, for who I am, how I am. Uh, I never. Because I like who I am. <laughs> At least somebody does, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy let's wrap this up thank you for subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button I'm not here specifically to get subscribers you know I'm not I, half the time I forget to even mention it to you guys and I'm like oh crap and then I'll add the little graphic on screen you might see it a couple times during my videos I'm not a good guy, like a pitch man for it. subscribe and like and comment. I'm, I'm horrible about it. Because again, I'm speaking off the cuff, from the heart, no script, very minimal notes half the time. And that's not on my mind. It's not going through my head, like trying to just beg you, please subscribe, please. No, it's not me. It's not me. Maybe it should be. <laughs> I'd probably have more subscribers right now. Yeah. So it would mean a lot if you did subscribe. I'd love to hear what you think. These are my thoughts. This is where we're at. Where I, I want to go. I hope that was in there somewhere. <laughs> and more importantly, though, knowing that you guys are out there and watching, of course, it means the world to me. Meeting you guys virtually talking with you, sharing your ideas, me sharing mine, a back and forth in exchange. I love it. I love meeting you guys. We're of like mind. We love the same things. We're talking Zelda. We're talking nerdy stuff. Oh, I just get so... And speaking of, JKL podcast will be coming back. Me and Hayden, we both work at the same restaurant. And that's how we met. Check out our JK. We've done one. So when we come back, it'll be like a big hoorah. It'll be like a big deal. Like, we're back. We never thought we would be at this point. I'm also going to be starting a new podcast, if you, whatever, a talk show with my sister. Looking forward to that. She is insanely intelligent. Superbly hilarious and funny. And also on this channel is our little playing around in the woods thing, uh, Journey to Drew Mountain. You'll find it. It's in the TV and movies playlist. That's her when she was younger. She's now a mom of two insanely beautiful, gorgeous, angelic twins. And they, they warm my heart, just as she did. when she, She's 14 years my junior. It's hilarious that I used to change her diapers, helped raise her. Yeah, helped. But now we're talking about doing a talk show together. That's awesome. 
totally looking forward to that. Yeah. So Amelia, come on, get your get your crap together. Let's go. <laughs> she, you know, I'm kidding. She knows. She knows I'm kidding. I feel like there's more to say, and if you stuck with me this long, wow, thank you. Most people have fallen asleep right now, and I hope if and that's kind of a see. Here I go. So I want to say this. Thank you guys, those of you who've been with me from the beginning. Those of you who joined recently, but those of you who have joined along the way for one of the many different subject matters on this channel, thank you. More are coming for all of those. This is big potpourri, schizophrenic, manic joyride that is my channel. Yeah, thank you for joining me. Please hit that subscribe button. Drop me a comment, like it if you like it. I am Loud Boy. You guys have a blessed day. And believe me, we'll be talking more soon. See you guys.